So this is the video I'm making to show you how to remove a discontinuity when you have uh, complex fractions. So here's the example. And as you can see, we've got two fractions that are separated, divided by another thing. So it's a real complex fraction. So the first thing you want to do when you add with the limit is substitute in, substitute in the value. And here we want 0. So I, that's what I did here is I replaced x with 0. And 0 plus 3 is, is 3, so and the numerator becomes 1 third minus a third, which is 0. And the denominator is 0, so we're getting that 0 over 0 form, which uh, needs more work. So we know we need to try to do something to remove um, that discontinuity. So here, what this technique is using a common denominator to try to simplify this fraction. So I'm looking at the numerator here, the 1 over 3 plus x minus 1 over 3, and I'm thinking, well, what's the common denominator for those two fractions, those two rational expressions? And it works out the lowest common denominator is um, the product of them. Okay, so what I'm going to do is now multiply this entire big rational expression by a form of 1, because I don't want to uh, change the value. So I just use that denominator twice. Now what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to do some distributing in the numerator. Okay, so I'm going to distribute this whole this whole this this term here into each of those uh, terms in the numerator, and I wrote that out here. And what happens for the first one is um, you see it it that three plus x factors out cancels off, right? And then in the second term, the threes cancel off. Okay, let me get a pointer here. I delete. Okay, so that's what I'm left with is the three from the first term, and then the three plus x of the second term. And here's the part you got to be careful of: is that negative, that subtraction sign right there? Is is uh, we got to make sure we don't lose it. We got to include it. Okay. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to distribute the uh, the negative through. That gave me a negative three minus x. And then I combine like terms in the numerator. Notice I didn't touch the denominator at all. Once I've gotten rid of the like terms in the numerator, I can cancel off that x. Because there's one in the numerator, one in the denominator. So I was able to just hash those two out. And then what that leaves me with is... The limit as x approaches 0, I kind of make sure I include that here at the end. Um, I did it at the beginning, I did it at the end. You don't have to worry about writing it along and all these individual steps. But once I've gotten rid of everything, now I can replace try substituting in 0 again. So if I replace the x with 0, um, that becomes 3 times 3, or 9. And that's what the limit of that expression becomes. So we went all the way from that... 0 over 0 to removing that 0 over 0 and coming up with a negative 1 ninth. And that's what the trick is. You have to uh, remove the, you know, make that fraction much less complicated. And usually it works out. Not always, but it certainly did here. All right, I hope that helps.